One of the best ways to stay on top of your task list is to take action. In this video, we wanted to show you some of the easiest tools that can help you to immediately take a message or email from Gmail, Slack, or Outlook and transform it into a task. We'll be covering Microsoft To Do, Google Tasks, Todoist, Notion, and Akiflow. If you find this video useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. The first tool we wanted to cover is Microsoft To Do. Microsoft To Do is a great tool if you use Outlook as your preferred email method because you can easily transform all of your emails into tasks that you can take action later. So if we go over to our email and let's say that we want to make this into an action to check the Outlook.com account, for example. Then you can go ahead and go to this icon here to open up your to-do list and then all you have to do is drag the email in and you can either choose to add it as an event or add as a task. So now we just added it in as a task and now you can see that there is a task here welcome to your outlook.com account and you can also add a separate message here for example if it's check outlook and that's going to be your task. And then you can actually view the email as well. So it's very easy to see where this is being referenced. So if we now go back to our Microsoft to do, we'll now see check outlook here. And if we open this one up, it'll say here the email information so that you can easily understand what this is talking about and that it relates to the email. You can add categories, you can add due dates, and you can do all sorts of things with this task once it goes into your Microsoft to do. So the next thing we wanted to talk about is Google Tasks and Google Tasks is super useful when you want to use Gmail and also Google Calendar together. So whenever you add a new item into Google Calendar, you can also choose whether or not this is a task or an event. So this is a really useful tool for task management. If we go ahead and stay in the task view, we can now go to our email to check how we can transform our Gmail into a Google task. So if we go ahead and go to this email, let's say that we have this email need help with a template, then we can actually go to this three dots here. And then what you can do is click add to tasks. And then this task is going to load here, need help with this template, and it's already added. So now if we go back to our Google tasks here, we can see need help with a template already added automatically to our task list. And then if we click it open, we can actually see the original email. So similar to Microsoft to do Google tasks is also a great way to send all of your emails into a task list. Next, we wanted to cover a tool called Todoist. And Todoist is also a great task manager app and it has a wide variety of integrations. So with Todoist, you can connect to Outlook, Gmail, and Slack. So if we want to make these connections to Todoist, we can go ahead and go to our settings. And then once we're in the settings, we can go to integrations. And then here we're going to start looking for Gmail, Slack, and Outlook. So let's go ahead and first add Gmail. So next, let's go ahead and click add. And then we're going to get the to do is for Gmail Chrome extension. Then you can go ahead and pin this on. And then what you can do is now go to the email. Now make sure you're logged into Todoist and the extension to work. So you can go to this three dots here, switch to advanced toolbar. And then you should see Todoist pop up. And now you can click this one and add it to Todoist directly from your Gmail and then add to task. So now if we go to our Todoist and we go to September 5th, and if you click it open, it's going to actually open it in Gmail. And then if you click here, you can actually edit the task and add descriptions and all kinds of things. Next, let's try connecting Outlook to Todoist. So if we go ahead and go to our settings again, and then if we go to integrations, and then we can go to browse and see all integrations. Let's go ahead and look for Outlook. And now we can click how to connect. So now we can go to the three dots here, go to apps, and then we can get add-ins. Here we can search for Todoist and then click add. What you have to do is go to your customized actions and make sure that Todoist is ticked off like this. And once you have that, you'll see this mark on every email and then you can click add to Todoist. And then here you'll have to log in. And then you can go ahead and click add task. Next, let's check the Slack integration. So if we go ahead and click browse and we can click Slack. 
and it's going to request permission to access the organized notebook clock workspace so we're going to go ahead and allow it and then you'll have to log into todoist as well and then agree so now let's say that we want to change this task here task to update a notion template and then we want to send it as a task in todoist we can simply click add a task todoist and then it's going to transform that title here you can say what kind of description needs to be there and then choose a project and then click add so now if we go ahead and see here it says your task was added and then we can check on todoist so now in todoist there should be a task called tasks to update a notion template and it's also linked to that slack message The next tool we wanted to talk about is Notion. So if you're using Notion for a wide variety of things, it can be useful if you want to send your Slack messages into Notion as a task. Let's go ahead and build a very simple task database. And then we're gonna type slash board view for board view database plus new board. And basically what we wanna do is to get the Slack messages into the task database. So we're gonna call this one task database. And if we go ahead and open up Slack, we've already added Notion as one of our apps. So you can also do that by going to plus add an app and then looking for Notion, and then you can configure the connection. You can also go from Notion to the sidebar and then go to settings and members and then go to my connections. And then you can connect the two together by going to browse connections and gallery and then looking for Slack. So once you have that set up, then if we go to our Slack here and let's say that we want to add this task into our Notion database, we can click the three dots here and then we can send to Notion. And then what we can do is type a database or paste the link. So we're going to go ahead and find the link for this one. We're going to copy link to board view and then we're going to go back to our Slack, paste it in and then it should find this task database. We're gonna have this and then we can save it. So now it says you've successfully created new task in Notion. So if we go ahead and go back to Notion, we have new task here. And it also links to the message in Slack that you wanted to add in the first place. The next tool we wanted to cover is Akiflow. And Akiflow is a wonderful time blocking tool as well as productivity and task management tool. And for this one, we're going to be going to the settings by going to this icon here, settings, and then we're going to go to integrations. So as you can see, there's a lot of integrations here and it's very clear which ones we can add. So let's go ahead and add the ones that we've been doing. So we're going to go ahead and add Gmail and we're going to click connect. Once you have it connected, you have two options. Either you can start an email to activate the Akiflow label on Gmail, or you can create a label and if you label your emails, it's going to import them as tasks in Akiflow. We prefer this option just to keep things easier to understand. So make sure to toggle that on. Once it's toggled on, if you go to your Gmail, you can now go ahead and click the label and then add it to Akiflow. So now you can see in your inbox that this task has shown up here and it's great because you can also see the exact Gmail that's linked to it. Next, let's connect Outlook email. We can go ahead and go to our Outlook. And let's go ahead and click this three dots here in apps. And then let's try to find Akiflow. And then we'll click Akiflow for Outlook and then click add. And then what we can do is go to customize actions and make sure to turn on Akiflow. And then we can click here, add to Akiflow. Now we can go ahead and log in. And now we have the option to actually add this into our task list. So we're gonna add the task title and then click create task. So if we go to the inbox, now you'll see welcome to your new outlook.com account. And we can see that it's attached to this Outlook email. The final thing we'll want to connect is Slack. So we can go ahead and click Slack and connect. And then we can click allow. Now we can see Akiflow is here. And let's say that we want to add the same task to update a Notion template here. We can click the three dots and then we can click more message shortcuts and then create a task Akiflow. Now, if we go back to Akiflow, we can go ahead and check if that task was saved. And here it says tasks to update a Notion template. And it even shows you in which channel and so on. So this is also a really useful feature. And what's cool about Akiflow is you can easily just drag your tasks into different kinds of 
time block so all of these email tasks can now go into various time blocks where you need to schedule them if you'd like to try Akiflow, who is the sponsor of today's video, be sure to check out the link in the description. As you can see, Akiflow has one of the widest selection of integrations so that you don't need to juggle multiple apps in order to have your centralized task list. We also love the stats functionality where you can see all of your statistics on task completion, which makes it motivating to continue using it. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to let us know if you have any questions or comments, and we hope to see you all in the next video.